Welcome back to Space of Grace Today, your sister in the challenges, possibilities, and victories on this journey called life. Our hope is that you will find wholesome morsels that will whet your appetite and leave you thirsting for more of God. Life after failure. People dread failures. The thought of plans going awry, having to face family, friends, and colleagues after a fall is quite nerve-wracking and daunting. But failure is not the end of the world. As a matter of fact, failures can serve as a springboard propelling one forward in a direction never considered. Scientists are faced with failures on a regular basis when testing their experiments. They don't allow this to deter them from pressing forward. Actually, their experiences of failure produces very important data on what doesn't work, and it helps them to map out an alternative direction in which to explore. It is then and only then that other opportunities and potentials are realized and hope is stirred again for a comeback. Where are you in this equation? Are you at the beginning of a disaster? In the middle of the madness? Or at the end of your rope? Are you drowning in depression, doubt and discouragement? I know, failures can be very embarrassing and debilitating, but it can be even more toxic when one pitches a tent and begins to live life in the shadow of that failure. I like the way that Paul the Apostle puts it in 2 Corinthians 4 verses 8 through 9. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Dear friends, it is time to get up from that place of gloom and doom and start preparing a game plan for a comeback. Look, let's be honest about this. It's not going to be easy, but it may cause you to live a little more leaner with less comforts in order to work your way from failures to focusing on future success. God has a plan for even our worst disappointments, and He specializes in turning our greatest anxieties into our greatest testimonies. Today's Reflections, James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. It reads, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you can be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Mm -mm -mm. Be encouraged today, my brother and sister. Even in this, God has a plan for even our worst disappointments. And He specializes in turning our greatest anxieties into our greatest testimonies. Your sister in the journey until next time saying, Be encouraged. Hang in there. This is your inspiration on the way. <laughs>